The way children are learning today is no longer the way we learned. We still have the teacher at the front of the class and you know, students taking notes, but it's really changing. It's moving towards a more interactive approach. Children are learning a lot from the internet, from their peers. If our job as psychologists is to help children learn and become successful adults, then we need to be in that environment. We cannot be forcing children to keep learning with methods that no longer reflect their world. Look up here. Look down here. Pick one here that goes with one here. I've noticed that children, when you put an iPad in front of them, not only are they more engaged with the tablet, but also I'm more engaged with them because I have less things to control. Look at these pictures. Which one here goes here? Right, let's try another one. With something like Q Interactive, for example, I can see the score right there and then, which helps me determine if I need to do another assessment. So that's very practical, and I see that as a big time saver as well. Also the ability to pick and choose from different batteries. I can definitely configure my battery in a very customizable way so that it works for that one child. Look at these shapes. Neither of these shapes here is the same as any of the shapes here. By allowing these interactions and a closer observation of the child's performance and the child's strategies, then we can provide better recommendations. Ultimately, the benefit of these time savings and also of these methods that more closely reflects the reality of children's learning is that I can help more children and I can help them in a way that reflects their world.